not much going on in my head right now. It's a bit of a blur, but it's all positive. Can you explain the whole thing with the shoes? The chant with the shoes? I can't, no. <laughs> I can't explain that to you. Um, they wanted to take your shoes off, yeah. I don't, so I, I put a shoe in the air as well, joined along with it. Keeps me relaxed, to be honest. So. Yeah, I've been coaching at the Warwick Boat Club. Um, I had options in Philadelphia. I, nothing was dead set. Um, but yeah, I, it was an option that I had. Um, don't know if I would have gone or not, but yeah, I, I met I met the guy. She told me not to, was, so I didn't. <laughs> Do what I'm told. Yeah, um, well, it's quite a nice life, isn't it? Really, I've I've never experienced this before. Goran just came and shook my hand, and it was yeah, he's my hero. So I'm a bit yeah. Possibly going to play Roger Federer. <laughs> um, explain, <laughs> discuss the, the thought of playing him, and whether on centre court or number one court. Well, I'm not sure he can play on grass. That's that's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, yeah, obviously it's amazing, dream come true. I get to play on a stadium court, and this is. I mean, this is what I, I dreamed of when I was younger. And, yeah, I'm going to go out there and try and win the tennis match. I probably won't, I might not, but I'm still going to give everything as I have done the last seven matches. I didn't, and then I've been staying in the same hotel, eating the same meal every night, and it's killing me a little bit now, but I'm going to keep doing it. What was the meal? Uh, I have ch uh, tomato and pepper pasta with added chicken on. Really interesting. No, I'm still I'm still living with my parents at home, living the dream. Um, I go I go up there and and coach. I, I sometimes I'll stay overnight with my girlfriend. Is that Warwick or Slough? Warwick. Warwick, up in Warwick. I was born in Slough. I've never lived there. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Um, no, I'm still based in Wokingham. I I'll stay over sometimes, spend the weekend, with my girlfriend or with my parents. Or I I check out every single morning. <laughs> I mean I mean I'm not heavy favourite for any match I've been playing so. Six months of the year ago, I was, yeah, not very confident to be honest. Um, kept getting injured, tore my hamstring twice, um, hurt my knee earlier this year. I had a bit of a rough face. I was, I was down. I was, I was, yeah, struggling to get out of bed in the morning. We're talking about messages. How many messages have you had? Did you look at your cell phone after the? It's, yeah, it's kicking off, and they're all lovely messages. Well, I haven't, haven't seen any haters yet, but I'm sure it will be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, someone's lost, lost a bet on Barankis, and I'm a loser, and I should die. But hey. You know. um, that everyone's been really supportive, I think they're amazed as well. And it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen, really. Three or four years ago, I'd have agreed with you. I've been behind the scenes working very, very, very hard. Um, so yeah, um, when I was a junior, I was yeah, I was talented. I was bigged up a lot, um, and then I yeah got dropped in the real world, playing futures in Romania, losing. I lost a lot of confidence, made some bad decisions, went out too much. Lifestyle wasn't good. Um, yeah, I didn't have the drive. When I found it three years ago, I wanted it, I could still play. I worked very hard with my coach, Matt Smith, in Surbiton. Ridiculous times in the morning, and yeah, ran myself into the ground, but it's worth it now.